I mostly conduct applied research or research that will lead to changes in practices, policies, or regulations. For example, much of the research that I have done with my graduate students has led to the development of new federal water quality guidelines for the protection of aquatic life. Locally, much of my research conducted at some of the northern Saskatchewan uranium mines has led to a better understanding of the influence of those operations on downstream water quality. It has also influenced better effluent management practices and advanced our understanding of the ecological risk of specific elements such as uranium, selenium, and nickel. My work most clearly aligns with Sustainable Development Goal number six, clean water and sanitation. Specifically, Goal 6.3, which includes aims to improve water quality by reducing pollution and minimizing the release of hazardous chemicals and materials into the environment. I have always been interested in biology, ecology, and nature. It started as a child growing up in Denmark, where I lived on the coast just south of Copenhagen, facing Sweden. There were lots of marshes, lagoons, and wildlife. After moving to Canada, I went to the University of Guelph in Ontario to study biology and eventually chose to focus on aquatic ecology. It was a professor in my third year of undergraduate studies at Guelph who sparked my interest in aquatic ecotoxicology, which is what I do now. His name was Professor John Sprague, and he is to my mind the father of aquatic toxicology in Canada. The course I took was called Biology of Polluted Waters, and it inspired me to become an aquatic ecotoxicologist. Approach online courses as you would an in-person course. Show up for classes or tutorials when they're offered live if it's all possible and be engaged. It is not really that much different. If you're not comfortable asking questions verbally, use a chat option that will be available. If courses are pre-recorded, watch them carefully and participate in the group interactions associated with the lectures. These will hopefully prove to work well in the absence of actual group activities. Also get to know some of your classmates. Just because you're not meeting in person doesn't mean you can't get to know each other and become friends. These friends will someday be part of your own global network of professional colleagues. I love the Canadian Rocky Mountains, especially the large national parks, Jasper, Banff, Yoho, Waterton, and so on. I find them spectacularly beautiful and very relaxing places to camp and hike and enjoy nature and just kick back. I encourage everyone to visit the Rockies when they can and see for themselves.